Oh yeah, I got one right in front of me there. Yeah, another one further up the hill, or uh, yeah, I just see the one right here in front of me. I was on the wrong radio. Is there another one further up the hill, or yeah, there's one right there. I, I think there's one more further up the hill, and maybe not. But whatever I got marked there. Yeah, well, I'm finishing up what I can get on this unit. Last couple pieces of shovel ground here. So I'm working my way up alongside the hand falling. Cutting the tree line. I thought I might take a minute or two to talk some more about some of the things that I do when I'm cutting, things I think are important. I think one of the main things really is to be organized, to cut in a methodical manner and keep things organized for whoever follows you up. So on this little piece here, it's, it's really just a couple of short benches and then it rises up quite sharply above it. So I'm working my way up along the tree line, fell into my right. And this stuff will get shoveled down before they, the yarder moves into this block so I don't have to worry about fouling them. So again, I'm, I'm I think one of the things that's really key for what I do is to pick a, a good angle that's uh, kind of as steep as I can work across the hill. So I'm working straight up the, line, the tree line now, but I'll make a series of short strips across the hill once I get up as high as I can climb. I think it'll show that in the video as it gets lighter. So this wood's all pretty small, but there's log in almost everything, so it's really important to get good recovery, both the stuff I cut and uh, stuff that's on the ground and certainly stuff that's been worked up. It's all got to go on a truck. kind of see the orientation of my strips or my bunches and I'm trying to make it so they'll flow easily for the shovel won't get hung up they'll flow easily down the hill to what little landing we have landings are pretty hard to come by we get pretty creative with them when you have a second Yeah, it's pretty easy to forget sometimes, you know, 
that you're in a hundred thousand pound machine and these little bitty trees and little bitty logs you can tear them up pretty easily so you know something like this little pile of logs right here that's been carefully worked up and sorted it's just really important to you know take care of them and of course uh, trying to get everything out of every tree that we cut you know, the lowest stumps we can saving them out as best we can too so I think really that that's one of the key things for me in cutting is having a pretty good idea of how I'm going to go about a little section or a big section even of course that can change fairly quickly but having a good idea walking it if there's some questions or it's big enough to warrant it and then just cutting in an organized fashion paying attention to details and uh, just doing a good job for, for, for what I'm doing and also in particular for whatever comes down the line behind me This was kind of a treat here. There actually was some green or partially green wood. It makes a big difference. This burned wood, this salvage, is pretty tough duty. It's dirty, dangerous. It's not a whole lot of fun, really. But this had some good wood in it. This head is so versatile. It really is just a pleasure to work with it. It's, it's, uh, it's got so much capacity, but it's just so versatile. It's really quite a tool. So we really try, or I, I really try, to get every piece of ground that I can. And this is a combination unit, shovel and yarder. And it just makes a huge difference for me to get everything that I can. This is a little pitch here that it sloped downhill quite, quite sharp. And it was fairly, it was quite steep too, but there was just enough of a slot without any major stumps that I was able to scratch a little trail so my high side track wouldn't lose traction and uh, got up on this next bench. So by cutting this out, the hand fallers will be, you know, I got everything to where I couldn't climb. And it wasn't a whole lot, but it's good wood, and it opens it up and opens up the land, and such as it is, so that the hand fallers can throw quite a lot of ground down to the shovel after he picks up what I've got down. It really makes a big difference. So we were on one o'clock, or I was on a one o'clock shutdown. I 
shut down, had it opened up so I could hit it the next morning. There was some pretty nice wood on this, I even had a few I had to face up. And sometimes it seems like I do quite a lot of stuff other than put wood on the ground, but as I said, you know, anything I can open up for the shovel makes a huge difference overall operation. I think that's really what I try to do is make it easy for the next guy. Yeah, so like I said, we're on, I'm on one o'clock shutdown, so I was able to open this little patch up. Got it pretty well cut out. That's another thing that's really nice on a tough piece of ground is to get something opened up so if you're starting in the dark, you're good to go. And as you'll see, I, that's just what I did. I scratched my way back up again in the morning and finished it off. Got it done. So on to the next one. So once again, thanks for watching. Thanks from, to my wife for putting all these together for you guys. Be safe.